Hi guys, I was just sitting there right now and I just thought of something. Um, if you, I just preached a sermon called The Lord of the Leftovers. It's not even uploaded to YouTube yet, but you can watch it on Facebook. Anyway, this is kind of a mini, mini, mini part two. Um, I just wanted to say, sometimes when things are left over, most times when things are left over, we don't think they have value. Whether that be people, whether that be things or something. And the Lord wants me to say to you, you have value. You have value. I don't know who left you. I didn't I don't know who told you you were good for nothing. I I don't know what your life has been like, but I need to tell you that you have value and you didn't deserve to be treated how you were treated. And you didn't deserve to be thrown away. And you are not garbage. You're not a mistake. You're not a piece of um, trash. You are gold. And the Lord is going to use you in the best way for his glory. So the Lord of the leftovers is going to use what's left over in you for, for his glory and for your good and for his good. Everything you've been through, honey. Absolutely everything, good, bad, ugly, he's stirring together to make something beautiful. You may not see it now, but it's coming. And everything that you're going through has value, either to teach you things or to learn what you need or don't need. I know a few years ago, um, about like about a year ago or something, I was reading uh, Malibu Rising by Taylor Jenkins Reid. Uh, those of you who know who I'm a I'm a reader, and she talked about this box. Uh, he's she's saying uh, when we go through life, we get this box from our parents or from people that we are around this this box of attitudes and ways of behavior and ways of doing things and we have this box so full of stuff that we need to sort out all the stuff and um and the Lord saying, tell them about the box and tell them that while they're sorting it out, I will use what's left over in the box for my glory. So not only will he help you sort out what attitudes and ways of doing things and uh, different idiosyncrasies, different proclivities, different lusts. When I say lust, I mean not only sexual lust, but there's sexual lust, there's money lust, there's anger lust, there's greed lust. Um, he will help you sort out all those different things in your box. And he will use what's left over and he will he will show you what you need to keep and what you need to throw away. But some of the things you're throwing away, he says, don't throw them away. They're just leftovers. You can reuse them and recycle them to create something new. Um, I have a bag in my house, a recycling bag, where you can put certain things to recycle and reuse again. So the Lord's gonna reuse and repurpose 
those things in your life and your box that you felt had no purpose. Because some of you, you think you have no purpose. No, 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 no. It, it, you just need to be repurposed. And God is going to repurpose the things that you, that you have in your life. And in some cases, he's going to be repurposed you. It was, you were just mishandled. It's not that you have no purpose or no um, call to be here. It's just that in your early life, whoever was responsible for you mishandled you. And that shouldn't have happened. They should have been there for you. They should have comforted you, you and loved you. You should have gotten that. But because you didn't get that, he will repurpose and restructure what's left over to make it something brand new. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for your grace. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for repurposing and rehoming us. And, and thank you, Lord, for just using the leftovers of our lives and doing what only you can do. In the name of Jesus, amen. See you later, guys. Have a great day. Bye. Sooner or later, it'll turn in my favor. It's turning around. He's using the leftovers. The leftovers are going to turn in your favor. What you, what the parts of your personality that you thought would not be useful, they're going to be repurposed and restructured and used in the best way. The parts of your life that you thought God cannot use this. It's going to be repurposed and restructured and used for his glory. You had to go through that. You must go through some area um, of your life. I stole that from Stephen Burdick, by the way, a few years ago uh, when he was talking about Samaria. He, he broke it down because he's such a brilliant wordsmith. He broke it down instead of saying Samaria, like the place in second, um, first century Palestine, he broke it down into some area. We all have some area where we struggle, but but God is going to use the leftovers of that area where we struggle to create something new. Like the broken glass with Chelsea that I was saying before. Uh, the broken glass of her life with the light shining through was creating something beautiful. Even in the brokenness of her relationship. Um, the light was creating something beautiful, even within the broken glass. So I'll see you. I'll see you soon, guys. Take care. Bye. And the Lord loves you in spite of your brokenness. You don't need to be put put together, um, be, because. The Lord loves you just the way you are, in spite of your brokenness and because of your brokenness. He, lo he, he doesn't love that you're broken, but he loves the person that you've become in your brokenness. And he's going to use the parts that he 
He's going to use the leftovers to create something special. But while he's doing that, he loves you in your brokenness and in spite of your brokenness. And he longs to make you whole. And when he fixes you, he does it in such a gentle and loving way. He knows how you need it. So he will make you whole and make you new. All you have to do is trust him with your leftovers. It may not be much, but the old saying says, little is much when God is in it. Lord, we praise you and adore you. Yes, God, we thank you. In the name of Jesus, amen. And if you want to see the first part of this sermon and you're on uh, Facebook, just go over to my Facebook wall. You just go to the go to the video below this one and you will see it. Um, if you go to YouTube, just go to my channel, go to the Lord of the Leftovers and I will and you'll see it there. This will be called The Lord of the Leftovers Part 2. So just go to The Lord of the Leftovers Part 1. And you will get the beginning of this sermon. So thank you guys. Bye. Late in the midnight hour. God's got to turn it around. He's got to work in your favor. Yeah. Sooner or later, and I'll turn in my favor. It's turning around for me. Around for me. Around for me, around for me, it's turning around for me. It won't always be like this. The Lord will perfect that concerning me. Oh, soon. And I'll turn in my favor. It's turning around for me. It's turning around. It's turning around. It's turning around for me. It's turning around. Yes, turning around. It's turning around for me.